It's a little birdie, but actually not as clear. Hey guys, so this is my review for Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol. I'm kind of confused as to myself as to why I'm watching it. I have thought about this movie for a while. When I saw it when I was 21, I thought it was pretty interesting. I preferred it over the melodramatism and the absolute cringeworthiness that was a lot of Mission Impossible 3, but on reflection, it's not as good as I remember it being. Now I'm not trying to come at this from a negative attitude. Admittedly, this was a pretty good outing for Brad Bird. This was the first time he had ever directed a live action film, and taking on a heavy stunt action film was pretty, you know, a pretty big task. But we also then saw with Tomorrowland that he really wasn't up to the task of taking on a massive budget idea. Tomorrowland has a lot of issues. It has, it's an interesting idea, but it definitely was very lackluster. After re-watching Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol, after the absolute insanity and fun that was Fallout, Fallout's a better version of this movie. I remember when I saw Fallout and they said, yep, Russians, weird guys have got bombs, nuclear bombs, and they're gonna basically destroy the world. Oh, you mean the plot from Ghost Protocol. Cool, we're doing this again. But admittedly, the plot in Ghost Protocol is even thinner. THINNER! I didn't think that was possible from Fallout. But I think it's because there's so much more going on, or at least a trying to be established with the characters, the villain, the whole plot setup. Which is funny is, while this movie is near on two hours long, it fails to really establish who the villain is, it fails to establish the plot and the circumstances, and it fails to actually be that big of an action movie. There's a few action sequences, I'll admit that. There's obviously the climbing the Dubai Tower, there's the sandstorm chase, the whole kind of sequence through India. But oddly enough, while there is some stunts in this movie, particularly the wall climb, a lot of them are fake too. They're like the very end of the film when Ethan gets into the car and he drives it off and it goes a hundred meters down and crashes. Now, yeah, there's obviously supposed to be some ridiculousness. Now definitely after seeing Mission Impossible 2 and some of the stuff that was in 3, obviously some overdramatism was going to happen in this film. And it does happen in 5 and 6, no doubt. But in terms of actually keeping you engaged in the film, this film does not do it as well as I remember it being. And it proved itself in terms of its characters. Paula Patton disappeared. She never came back for the fifth one. Jeremy Renner's character kind of became a sideline character in the fifth one and then completely disappeared in Fallout. And Vin Rames was in this movie. Well, he is at the very end, but come on, man. You can't sideline Vin Rames. He's too cool. But otherwise, the film does have a steady flow, but at the same time, it does not keep you interested as much as it used to. The film has aged definitely with some of its visuals and some of the characters, which is interesting enough that there's a lot of pretty interesting actors in this film. But again, just the material, how it's portrayed and how it's executed is definitely not as interesting, especially with Fallout. Fallout just dwarfs this movie entirely. I'm not saying that Ghost Protocol is bad, I'm just saying it's not as good as it used to be when I first saw it. And admittedly, I have had seven years since I saw it. I have not seen it since I saw it in theaters. So it's been a while and yeah. Maybe this might happen for the other Mission Impossible movies as well, but right now, Ghost Protocol doesn't sit as high as it used to. So in the end, I'm gonna give Mission Impossible Ghost Protocol a three out of seven. It's an enjoyable time, essentially, but it is so forgettable, you'll forget you saw it. And all the other critics did, because they all thought that the Fallout script it was cool and everything, yet it was an exact copy of this. Instead of a missile, it was ball. Anyways, guys, that's all from me. Hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, leave a like. And if you're interested in more, maybe subscribe. Otherwise, that's all from me. I'll see you guys next time.